You found the light in me that I couldn't find. Lovers in the night, poets trying to write. We don't know how to run, but damn, we try. From far and wide, my blue jeans. Yes, I forgot about the song. Kiss me for the first time yesterday. Everything I wish that it would be. Suddenly I forgot how to speak. Hopeless, breathless, baby, can't you see? Is that right? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be reacting to one star reviews of my favorite books. Can't wait. <laughs> so, um, my favorite books are very near and dear to my heart, and I'm probably gonna get offended. If any of these books you absolutely hated and I loved, please be careful because my little heart will not be able to take your terrible comments. Alright, so the first book that I'm gonna read reviews for is Verity by Colin Hoover because that's my number one book. The overall average rating is 4.46, which is pretty good, honestly. Like, high. That's really high. I meant, like, high. Like, high. Says, brilliant author. Brilliantly written. Brilliant idea, except dot dot dot. I didn't like it. I didn't like the heroine. I couldn't relate to her. I don't really know who's the heroine in this novel. What do we count as a heroine? Is it more like protagonist? No? Is that the same thing? I didn't the hero. Who's a hero in this story? Nobody. Nobody's a hero. That's who. I didn't like the story. In plausible and kind of revolting. And the rest of it goes on into spoils. So, spoils goes on into spoilers. So, my comment for this person is the point of this story is that it's a thriller. And it's, like, uncomfortable. Like, that's the brilliancy behind it. It's just... How uncomfortable Colleen Hoover can make you feel from literally just reading words on a page. Because it's not real. It's not real life, you know? She's brilliant. That's the... Hi. Colleen Hoover's a freaking queen. Someone said, not for me at all. Which is fine. I understand because, like, I do hate books that other people love. And if it's not for you, it's not for you. But, like, I'm not offended. It's fine. This book had, had none of the things I usually adore about coho books. There was an ungodly amount of sex that was detailed enough to make me cringe on so many levels. There was absolutely no humor, which is disappointing. It's difficult for me to enjoy a book with no humor. I also have a hard time enjoying a novel when I dislike the main character and damn did I hate Lowen. Especially by the end of the novel, I'm not going to go into detail why I disliked her, but let's just say that at the end of the novel, I don't believe she was any better than Verity, maybe even worse. Like with all of Ko's books, I read this in one sitting. Me too, girl. It definitely pulled me in and had me wanting to know what happened. Sally, by the end of the novel, I just had a sour taste in my mouth about it that I have yet to get rid of. But it didn't work. Okay. So, my issue with this is that she kind of spoke, um, like, this, this girl gave this a one, a one star. But, like, like, obviously, she, you could tell that it just wasn't, like, her cup of tea, but, like, it didn't sound like a one star for her, like, by her review. So, like, I don't really know, you know? Um, I don't really think she should have given this one star. Obviously, I'm not her, but, like, by her review, it's not seeming like a one star. I mean, the thing is that, like, this is supposed to be a disturbing book. This is the, this is, like, the point. Like, Coho is, like, creating this new thing, which I love, because I love all her other books, but this one literally just, like, jumped up to the top as soon as I finished it, so, I mean, yeah, everybody's different, but, like, it's just a little sad, because literal love of my life, like, 
I remember, I love her. To me, the point of the book at the end was actually that that was the problem. Like, Verity is this terrifying person the whole time, and then Lowen is, like, seems more, like, pedestrian, like, or, like, a human, and by the end, it's a little bit flips the switch. My second book is gonna be City of Bones by Cassandra Clare. City of Bones is my favorite. Sorry, not sorry. Here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go. This has a 411. I also rated this five stars. Everything that I talk about, I'm gonna have read, rated it five stars. Ugh. Okay, one star. Alright, so I'm gonna do this one. It doesn't have spoilers, but it has curse words, so if you don't like to read curse words, close your eyes. Jace is really just Draco, Simon's really just Ron and Harry amalgamated into one. Clary is just Ginny. The bad guys seem too much like good old Voldy. The plot is painfully similar to... What is DT? Can I be stupid for a second? What does DT stand for? I know this is probably, honestly, probably seems stupid. Someone please tell me what DT stands for. The characters were boring and poorly constructed, and the plot was boring and poorly constructed. And again, with the DT, I have no idea what that means. Um, I have read Harry Potter, and I don't really agree. Like, I under, like, you can't just say every book that has three main characters in it is, like, the golden trio. Like, it's just not. It doesn't make sense. A lot of books have characters that it's, like, best friends, romance, like, ding, ding, ding. Harry, Ron, Hermione. So Jace, Simon, and Clary are just automatically Harry, Ron, and Hermione because it's three people and it's a fantasy book. Are you sure? Because I don't agree. I don't think Jace is Draco. Honestly, every time like anybody makes fun of someone that I like that's like famous or like rich or whatever, I'm just like, yeah, they're laughing on their way to the bank with their big check for money. Like my next book is going to be A List of Cages by Robin Rowe, and yeah, I can't, I don't really know how anyone would hate this book besides, um, it's a little disturbing, but like, it's a book. Okay, so this is a 4.31, which is also pretty high. I feel like the majority has like, 4 and higher. I'm like not trying to read like I'm gonna like really long ass ones. This one says you can't can't just cure dyslexia and ADHD with remedies and exercises. This book is dangerous and pushes some really bad information for learning disabilities. Ableism is bad, y'all. Um, I don't really remember that happening, like them saying dyslexia could just be fixed by like exercises. I know the like so I think it's Julian is named Julian and Adam, I think, like, if that's not right. Julian is the younger one and Adam is older. Julian, I don't remember who's dyslexic, but, like, they gave each other, like, they're, like, buddies. And I think it's more just to kind of help them out. I don't think it's to fix them. So I don't know where that came from. The next book is going to be All the Bright Places. Now, I don't really know if this is um, one of my favorites, like now, I haven't read it in a while and I've been new to reread it, but I know a lot of people have issues with this book, so I would love to see what they say. Oh, she's sweet but a psycho, a little bit psycho. I love to sing songs when I don't know the words, and I'm like, mm, mm. I used to think that the lyrics to that song was, Oh, she sleeps with a psycho. Oh, she sleeps with a psycho. I was like, no, it's she's sweet, but a psycho. So sorry. That's my little rant. Alright, so the first review. I don't want to read these long ones because my eyes hurt. The characters weren't people, just mental illnesses put into bodies. Quirky, but in reality mentally ill. Not cool, nobody treated the characters' problems like they were a real problem, and that pissed me off. 
if you enjoyed the book or could relate to the characters, that's totally fine. This one wasn't for me, unfortunately. So, like, I don't know if I'm taking this wrong, but mental illnesses put into bodies. Like, yeah, what I'm saying, I really don't know if I'm taking this wrong, but that kind of makes me uncomfortable. They're not characters, they're just mental illnesses put into bodies. I'm gonna let you guys ponder on that and not say anything because I, to me, that that doesn't sound right and like, mm -hmm, that makes me upset. So, let's stop. My last book that I'm gonna do is Six of Crows because my husband is in this book. Um, even though I have not read Crooked Kingdom, like, honestly, Cows might be my favorite character. Um, I don't know if I can say that because, you know, I'm chasing Jack, but, like, maybe I'm cheating on that. Okay, so this is going to be the last one. Six of Crows. 4.47. You have got to be forking kidding me. Fork, fork, fork. Fork, 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 fork. fork. Like, forking fork. It's becoming a Netflix show. The torture never ends. Rue. Like, <laughs> um, yeah, so can Ed Westwick just play cats because I'll legit shit my pants. I'm really sad that I wasted so many hours in this book. I really should have gone with my gut and just put it down. This review is bad because, like, it's not telling you anything why they hate it. They're just like, should have stopped it. Forking kidding me? Are you forking kidding me, everybody? So, mm -hmm. the pacing was like navigating through mud, for one thing. It takes forever for them to get to their destination. Not like that's like, the plot or anything, but, you know, they just take too freaking long, you know? Traffic's bad. Backstory is randomly placed right in the middle of the storyline. Okay, so would you have rather her just be like, Hi, this is Kaz, and this is everything that he went through. And this is an edge, and why this is why she's with the dregs. Just letting you know. And this is Matthias. And here here's him. And here's Nina Zenek. Like, she's just on this. And let's get into the plot now. Or like what? What? Like that is the point of a story, is that you keep reading and you find out more and more of their backstory. And then Too many description is this person too many descriptions of the setting not like you literally need to know where they are and what it looks like too many descript too many descriptions i don't want to I, I don't want the descriptions of the setting are you forking kidding me I get that YA characters don't always act like real teenagers, but seriously, everyone in this book sounds about 30 years old. Because they're literally fighting for their lives. Like, fighting to get out of the game, and like, fighting, fighting, fighting. Like, actually having to work, you know? Like, work hard for something. 17 year olds can work hard for something. I'm gonna do one more. This one says, their leader, Kaz, is 100% money-driven, and people are only important to him if money is at the end of the relationship. Hi. What about Inish? My literal favorite part of Six of Crows. I have to find the picture. I have to find the picture. I think I took a picture of it. <laughs> it's, like, one of the only pictures of a, like, book line in my phone, and I'm going to read it. Nina, oh, okay, let's see. I wish, so Nina, you know, you could, she could hear everything, so. I wish you could see what I do. I could hear everybody on this ship. The blood rushing through their veins. 
I can hear the change in Cassie's breathing when he looks at you. And then Mitch goes, you can. And then Amy goes, it catches every time like he's never seen you before. I love Cass so much. Okay, so those are my reactions to five different of my favorite books and their one star ratings. So. so my camera just died like always um tell me to charge my battery and i'll probably think about it but i'm gonna end the video because that's where i was at anyway so like and subscribe and that's it i'll be back again on wednesday thanks for watching